What is up guys, it is Joe here from Joe Tools Wrestling and today I am bringing you my second fantasy booking video. Hopefully it comes true. I mean, if you've been on the channel a while, I fantasy booked, I think in February, a Kofi Kingston World Championship run. And then about, you know, three weeks later, he was in the Elimination Chamber match. And then obviously from there, Kofi Mania happened. Everyone wanted Kofi to win, and Kingston won the WWE Championship from Daniel Bryan at WrestleMania. But today, I am fantasy booking a heel Seth Rollins run this year. We're not 2015 Rollins. I'm not going to rebirth that Rollins, because he was a coward. We're going to have a new, new heel Seth Rollins, a new badass Seth Rollins that's going to want to burn shit down and take everyone on. Now... The reason I'm doing this is because Seth Rollins' character has been very cringy, very stale recently. And, well, I think ever since they partnered him up with Becky Lynch, although it is, well, did you know? I don't know if you guys knew this. Did you know that Becky Lynch and Seth Rollins are in a real life couple? I don't, no one knows that, you know. It's not like they tell us on commentary five times a week. But um, ever since they paired him up with Becky Lynch, it's just gone south. I mean, the, the title run had great potential, his Universal Championship run. He had that pretty decent match against AJ Styles at Money in the Bank, but then they fed him to Corbin, and it just went... and died from there. So, fantasy booking. In order for this to happen, the reason I have to get this video out today is because it has to involve SummerSlam, and it's very recent. If this fantasy booking was to happen, it was happening over the course of, like, the next week. So... Brock Lesnar is facing Seth Rollins at SummerSlam for the Universal Championship. If we look back into past weeks, the past two weeks of Monday Night Raw, Seth is injured badly. He barely made it to the ring last week. So, that can factor into it. SummerSlam. Brock Lesnar will absolutely squash Seth Rollins in around five minutes. Destroy him. German suplex, German suplex. Two F5s, that's it. The end. One, two, three. Brock retains the Universal Championship. That's that. Everyone's in shock because they thought they just squashed their biggest star. Not like they did with Cena at SummerSlam 2014 where they go about 15 minutes of squash. No, Brock's going to come out there, whoop Seth and pin him in about five minutes. So that immediately makes Seth's like whole everything drop. His whole stock just drop. No one, everyone's thinking, well, they've buried him. Then... On the next night on Raw, we're going to see something that I will never see Brock Lesnar do. Bear this in mind, Brock Lesnar hasn't had a match on Raw, a match bell to bell on Raw, since 2003. Do you know how insane that is? That's 16 years. That's nuts. He nearly had a match with Rollins on Raw in 2015, but the bell never rung. He had five Michael Cole and got suspended. So, Brock's going to have a match on Raw. He's going to come out, not with Paul. Well, no, Paul's going to be there. But Paul's going to start talking. Brock's going to take the mic. And he's going to say, You know what? I had a terrible match at SummerSlam. That wasn't real competition. I'm here for a fight. I want real competition. Paul, say something stupid. Send me someone out here that I can have a fight with. Mic drop. Then... We're going to be waiting. Brock's going to be doing his little, you know, jumping around thing that he does. And then you hear Roman Reigns' music. The big dog Roman Reigns comes out. He's ready for a fight. He's doing the whole... Uh, uh, firing himself stuff. You know, the whole... Uh, 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 uh. Then, Roman Reigns beats Brock Lesnar on one spear. These two fight. It's a brawl. Superman punch. Do about five of them. One spear. One, two, three. Roman Reigns is the new universe. This isn't the universal title, but it's pretty much the same thing. With a black swoosh and a red re-leather. But anyway, Roman Reigns wins the universal championship from Brock Lesnar in probably 10 minutes. And he's there. Yeah, he's holding the title up. Seth Rollins' music hits. The architect comes out. He's bandaged up. He's limping like crazy. And he's like, oh, man, I'm so glad you beat him, man. I'm so glad you beat him. He's, he's in the ring. There's tears. Rollins is crying. He's so happy that Roman has, in the last literally eight months, come back. He's beat cancer. He's 
beat Brock for a second time in the space of a year. And Seth is so happy for his best friend. So much happened. They were with the Shield this year. Ambrose left. They're just, it's just such a heartfelt, emotional moment. Rollins is in, balling his eyes out. They have a big hug, big handshake. Rollins holding his hand up in the air. So happy. And Rollins looks at him. And Rollins stares. And you see the emotion change in Seth Rollins' face. You see the happiness drain out of his face. And it's just replaced with a blank stare. Rollins' best friend has come out and stolen what Seth thought was his. Roman looks at Seth. They stare at each other. And Seth, bang! Super kick takes down Roman Reigns. Seth Rollins is looking down. He's staring down like this. He'd be staring down at Roman Reigns, his once best friend who has taken everything from him in 24 hours. And Seth Rollins picks up the Universal Championship. He puts his foot on Roman's chest and he holds the title up in the air to close out Monday Night Raw. The next week, Seth Rollins comes out. There's no burn it down in this theme song. It's not there. It's just not there. It's the old theme song. So the fans are ready to go, burn it down. But there isn't a burn it down. Seth walks to the ring, doesn't smile, just walks down, picks up the microphone, stands in the ring, looks around, shakes his head and leaves. It's not worth it. The next week, the big dog, Roman Reigns, comes out, demanding Seth to come out and fight him, saying, you were my best friend and you betrayed me. No, from Seth's point of view, Roman was his best friend and Roman betrayed him. But we're standing there. Seth Rollins comes down. He stands on the ramp, looks at him. I said it before. He's not going to do a 2015 Rollins and walk away. No, Seth Rollins stands on the ramp. He starts walking down, he sprints to the ring and him and Roman are doing like, you know, what KO and Sammy do where they stand there and they're just throwing punches over and over again. And these two are having a slugfest. Everyone comes out, everyone's there trying to break the two up. And eventually, this is just going to go on and on and on. Seth's going to have opponents week after week like squash matches, literally. He's just gonna be curb stomping people. After the bell, he's gonna be assaulting them every week. He's not gonna really talk much. He'll talk, but he's not gonna be doing the whole <laughs> like he used to do, you know what I mean? He's just gonna be there. Everything he says is gonna have meaning like behind it. He's gonna look pissed off 24 seven, and it's literally just gonna be, I want one thing. And that's the Universal Championship. And no one is getting in between that goal. So that's that. Survivor Series comes around. We do a Money in the Bank 2016. Roman and Seth can tear it up. They can have a fantastic match. We've seen it time and time again. And Seth beats Roman Reigns clean for the Universal Championship. Then we got Hill Rollins that won't back down to anyone. Not Hill Rollins that needs the authority to hold his hand through every match. No, we've got Hill Rollins that everyone's invested in. Everyone's like, this is badass. So Seth rejuvenates again. He's back on top. He's got the Universal Championship. He's Hill and the run continues. So let me know what you think, ladies and gentlemen. This was a pretty long video. It's 10 minutes, but I have to explain it. It was my fantasy booking of a Seth Rollins Universal title run as a Hill. And yeah, please be sure to give this video a like, comment and subscribe. I've been Joe from Joe Talks Wrestling. You guys have been awesome. Stay tuned for more wrestling content and I'll see you in the next video, guys. Goodbye.